May the peace of the Lord be with you all. As we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Come, let us now listen to the Word of God. February 26, 2024 Second Monday of Lent A reading from the book of Daniel Ah, Lord, great and awesome God, keeping covenant and steadfast love with those who love you and keep your commandments. We have sinned and done wrong, acted wickedly and rebelled, turning aside from your commandments and ordinances. We have not listened to your servants the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, and our ancestors, and to all the people of the land. Righteousness is on your side, O Lord, but open shame, as at this day, falls on us, the people of Judah, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and all Israel, those who are near and those who are far away, in all the lands to which you have driven them, because of the treachery that they have committed against you. Open shame, O Lord, falls on us, our kings, our officials, and our ancestors, because we have sinned against you. To the Lord our God belong mercy and forgiveness, for we have rebelled against him, and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God by following his laws, which he set before us by his servants the prophets. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Do not remember against us the iniquities of our ancestors, let your compassion come speedily to meet us, for we are brought very low. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of your name, deliver us, and forgive our sins, for your name's sake. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Let the groans of the prisoners come before you, according to your great power preserve those doomed to die. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Then we your people, the flock of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever, from generation to generation we will recount your praise. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to Luke. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap, for the measure you give will be the measure you get back. The Gospel of the Lord Gospel Reflection Saint Ignatius of Loyola, in his guide for a 30-day retreat, has the retreat ant spend the first week of the retreat focusing upon sin, judgment, death and hell. At first, this can seem very uninspiring. But the wisdom of this approach is that after a week of these meditations, Retreat ants come to a deep realization of just how much they need the mercy and forgiveness of God. They see their need more clearly, and a deep humility is fostered within their soul as they see their guilt and turn to God for His mercy. But mercy goes both ways. It is part of the very essence of mercy that it can only be received if it is also given. In the Gospel passage above, Jesus gives us a very clear command about judgment, condemnation, mercy and forgiveness. Essentially, if we want mercy and forgiveness, then we must offer mercy and forgiveness. If we are judgmental and condemning, then we will also be judged and condemned. These words are very clear. Perhaps one of the reasons that many people struggle with being judgmental and condemning of others is because they lack a true awareness of their own sin and their own need for forgiveness. We live in a world that often rationalizes sin and downplays the seriousness of it. That's why the teaching of Saint Ignatius is so important for us today. 
We need to rekindle a sense of the seriousness of our sin. This is not done simply to create guilt and shame. It's done to foster a desire for mercy and forgiveness. If you can grow in a deeper awareness of your own sin before God, one of the effects will be that it is then easier to be less judgmental and condemning of others. A person who sees his sin is more apt to be merciful to other sinners. But a person who struggles with self-righteousness will most certainly also struggle with being judgmental and condemning. Reflect, today, upon your own sin. Spend time trying to understand how ugly sin is and try to grow in a healthy disdain for it. As you do, and as you beg our Lord for his mercy, pray also that you will be able to offer that same mercy you receive from God to others. As mercy flows from heaven to your own soul, it must then also be shared. Share the mercy of God with those all around you and you will discover the true value and power of this gospel teaching of our Lord. Let us pray. My most merciful Jesus, I thank you for your infinite mercy. Help me to see clearly my sin so that I, in turn, may see my need for your mercy. As I do, dear Lord, I pray that my heart will be open to that mercy so that I can both receive it and share it with others. Make me a true instrument of your divine grace. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and gospel. May God bless us all.